In the pharmaceutical industry, job interviews can be challenging due to the technical knowledge and experience required. This video presents a comprehensive guide to the top 25 interview questions commonly asked in pharma production roles. Along with the questions, we will provide insightful answers to help candidates prepare effectively. By understanding these key topics, applicants can enhance their confidence and increase their chances of success in securing a position in this competitive field. 1. What is your understanding of good manufacturing practices, GMP, in pharmaceutical production? Good manufacturing practices, GMP, are essential regulations that ensure products are consistently produced and controlled according to quality standards. GMP encompasses all aspects of production, from raw materials to facilities and equipment, as well as the training and personal hygiene of staff. These practices minimize the risks involved in pharmaceutical production that cannot be eliminated through testing the final product. Compliance with GMP helps ensure the safety, quality, and efficacy of medications, ultimately protecting patient health and maintaining public trust in pharmaceutical products. 2. Can you explain the concept of batch manufacturing in pharmaceutical production? Batch manufacturing refers to the production process where pharmaceutical products are made in specific quantities or lots. Each batch undergoes a defined set of processes, from mixing raw materials to final packaging. This method allows for precise control of quality and uniformity, ensuring that each batch meets regulatory standards. It is essential to maintain consistency across batches, which is achieved through strict adherence to standard operating procedures, SOPs, and thorough documentation. This approach also enables efficient management of resources, reducing waste and optimizing production schedules. 3. What are the key stages involved in tablet manufacturing? Tablet manufacturing involves several key stages. 1. Material sourcing. Selecting quality raw materials is crucial for ensuring the efficacy of the final product. 2. Granulation. This process combines powders with a liquid binder to form granules, enhancing flow and compressibility. 3. Drying. The granulated material is then dried to remove excess moisture, which is vital for stability. 4. Compression. The dried granules are compressed into tablets using a tablet press, forming the desired shape and size. 5. Coating. Tablets may undergo coating for protection, delayed release, or improved aesthetic qualities. 6. Quality control. Throughout each stage, rigorous testing ensures adherence to specifications and regulatory standards. 4. How do you ensure cleanliness and sterility of production equipment? Ensuring cleanliness and sterility of production equipment involves multiple steps. First, equipment must be thoroughly cleaned using appropriate cleaning agents that meet regulatory standards. After cleaning, equipment should be rinsed with purified water to remove any residues. Next, sterilization methods such as autoclaving, dry heat, or chemical disinfectants are employed, depending on the equipment type and product requirements. Regular monitoring and validation of cleaning and sterilization processes are essential, along with maintaining detailed records to demonstrate compliance with good manufacturing practices, GMP. Routine inspections and audits also help identify any potential contamination risks. 5. What is the significance of standard operating procedures, SOPs, in pharmaceutical production. Standard operating procedures, SOPs, are essential for maintaining consistency and quality in pharmaceutical production. They provide detailed instructions on processes, ensuring that all team members perform tasks uniformly. SOPs enhance compliance with regulatory requirements, minimizing risks of errors and contamination. They also serve as a training tool for new employees, promoting a safe and efficient working environment. By establishing clear expectations, SOPs facilitate quality control and help in internal audits, making them a cornerstone of effective pharmaceutical operations. 6. Can you describe the process of quality control in pharmaceutical manufacturing? Quality control in pharmaceutical manufacturing involves systematic processes designed to ensure that products meet predetermined quality standards. This typically includes sampling raw materials, in-process testing, and final product analysis. Testing methods such as high-performance liquid chromatography, HPLC, and microbial limits testing are employed. Each batch undergoes rigorous scrutiny to verify compliance with specifications. Documentation is essential for traceability, and any deviations are thoroughly investigated to maintain adherence to regulatory guidelines. Continuous monitoring and validation help uphold product integrity and safety. 7. What are the critical parameters to consider during tablet compression? During tablet compression, 
several critical parameters must be monitored to ensure high-quality tablets. These parameters include the compression force, which affects tablet hardness, tablet thickness, which ensures uniformity, and the speed of compression, which can impact the dwell time and material flow. Additionally, granule properties such as size and moisture content are vital, as they influence the flowability and compressibility of the powder. Tooling design, including punch and die specifications, also plays a significant role in achieving consistent tablet characteristics. 8. How do you handle deviations or unexpected issues during the production process? Handling deviations or unexpected issues during the production process involves a systematic approach. First, it is essential to promptly identify and document the deviation. A root cause analysis is then conducted to understand the underlying factors contributing to the issue. Based on this analysis, appropriate corrective and preventive actions, CAPA, are developed and implemented. Communication with the team is critical to ensure everyone is aware of the issue and the steps being taken. Finally, monitoring the effectiveness of the CAPA ensures that similar issues do not recur in the future. 9. What is the importance of documentation in pharmaceutical production? Documentation in pharmaceutical production is crucial for ensuring compliance with regulatory standards and maintaining product quality. It provides a detailed record of manufacturing processes, materials used, and quality control measures taken. This traceability is essential for audits and inspections, as well as for investigating any discrepancies or deviations. Accurate documentation also supports effective communication within teams, aids in training new employees, and serves as a reference for process optimization. Ultimately, thorough documentation safeguards patient safety and upholds the integrity of the pharmaceutical industry. 10. Can you explain the concept of process validation in pharmaceutical manufacturing? Process validation is a critical component in pharmaceutical manufacturing that ensures the processes consistently produce products meeting predetermined specifications and quality attributes. It involves three main stages, process design, process qualification, and continued process verification. During process design, the manufacturing process is defined and optimized. Process qualification confirms that the facility and equipment operate as intended, while continued process verification involves ongoing monitoring of the process during routine production. This approach helps identify any variations or issues, ensuring product quality and compliance with regulatory standards. 11. What are the different types of pharmaceutical dosage forms you have experience with? Pharmaceutical dosage forms include tablets, capsules, liquids, ointments, creams, gels, and injectables. Each form serves specific therapeutic needs and patient preferences. For instance, tablets are popular due to their stability and ease of administration, while injectables offer rapid action for acute conditions. Additionally, topical forms like creams and ointments allow localized treatment. Liquid forms are beneficial for children or patients with swallowing difficulties. Understanding the characteristics of each dosage form is crucial for effective formulation and delivery of medications. 12. How do you ensure proper material handling and storage in a production facility? Proper material handling and storage in a production facility involves several key practices. First, all materials must be received, inspected, and documented to ensure they meet quality standards. Designated storage areas should be clearly labeled and organized to prevent contamination and mix-ups. Temperature and humidity levels must be monitored and controlled based on the specific requirements of each material. Regular training for personnel on proper handling techniques is essential to minimize the risk of damage or contamination. Implementing a first-in, first-out, FIFO, system can help maintain material integrity and reduce waste. 13. What is the role of environmental monitoring in pharmaceutical production? Environmental monitoring plays a critical role in pharmaceutical production by ensuring that the manufacturing environment meets specific cleanliness and sterility standards. Regular monitoring of air, surfaces, and personnel helps identify potential contamination sources that could affect product quality. This process includes sampling and testing for microbial organisms and particulate matter. By maintaining a controlled environment, manufacturers can minimize risks, comply with regulatory requirements, and ultimately safeguard patient safety. Environmental monitoring also supports continuous improvement initiatives by providing data that can inform process adjustments. 14. Can you describe the process of batch release in pharmaceutical manufacturing? The batch release process in pharmaceutical manufacturing involves several critical steps to ensure that a batch of products meets quality and regulatory standards. 
Initially, quality control tests are performed on the batch, including potency, purity, and stability assessments. Documentation, including batch records and testing results, must be reviewed and approved by qualified personnel. Following successful completion of tests, the batch is then released for distribution. This process ensures that only products that meet all specifications reach the market, safeguarding patient safety and compliance with regulatory requirements. 15. What are the key considerations for scaling up production from lab scale to commercial scale? Scaling up production from lab scale to commercial scale involves several critical considerations. First, ensuring that the formulation is robust and can withstand the increased production volumes is essential. Process parameters established during lab scale production must be validated and optimized for larger batches. Equipment selection is vital, it should meet the demands of scale while maintaining quality and consistency. Additionally, regulatory compliance must be addressed at every stage, ensuring that documentation and quality control measures are in place. Training personnel on new processes is crucial for maintaining efficiency and safety standards. 16. How do you manage cross-contamination risks in a multi-product facility? Managing cross-contamination risks in a multi-product facility involves several key strategies. First, implementing stringent cleaning protocols between production runs is essential. This includes thorough cleaning and sanitization of equipment and surfaces. Second, using dedicated equipment for specific products can significantly reduce risks. Third, establishing clear zoning within the facility helps segregate different manufacturing areas to avoid cross-contact. Training staff on contamination control practices and conducting regular audits ensures compliance with established procedures. Environmental monitoring programs also play a vital role in identifying potential contamination sources early. 17. What is your experience with continuous manufacturing processes in pharmaceuticals? Continuous manufacturing processes have gained traction in the pharmaceutical industry due to their efficiency and flexibility. My experience includes working on a project that implemented continuous flow reactors, allowing for real-time monitoring and control of the production process. This approach enhances product uniformity and reduces batch-to-batch -batch variability. I have also collaborated closely with cross-functional teams to ensure that the necessary quality attributes are maintained throughout the process. Training staff on the specific requirements and challenges of continuous manufacturing has been a crucial part of my role. 18. Can you explain the concept of design of experiments, DOE, in process optimization? Design of experiments, DOE, is a statistical approach used to plan, conduct, analyze, and interpret controlled tests to evaluate the factors that may influence a process. In pharmaceutical manufacturing, DOE helps identify and optimize critical variables affecting product quality and process efficiency. By systematically varying inputs and observing outputs, it allows for the determination of optimal conditions while minimizing variability. This method enhances understanding of the interactions between different factors, leading to more robust and reliable production processes. It ultimately supports regulatory compliance and quality assurance. 19. How do you ensure compliance with regulatory requirements in pharmaceutical production? Ensuring compliance with regulatory requirements in pharmaceutical production involves implementing a robust quality management system that aligns with guidelines established by authorities like the FDA or EMA. Regular training for staff on current regulations is essential to maintain awareness. Conducting internal audits and risk assessments helps identify potential non-compliance issues early. Additionally, maintaining thorough documentation and conducting regular reviews of processes and equipment ensures adherence to good manufacturing practices GMP. Engaging with regulatory bodies during inspections also supports compliance efforts. 20. What strategies do you use to improve production efficiency and reduce waste? Improving production efficiency and reducing waste involves several strategies. Implementing lean manufacturing principles helps identify and eliminate non-value-added activities. Regular employee training enhances skills and promotes a culture of continuous improvement. Utilizing process automation can streamline operations and minimize human error. Conducting root cause analysis on waste generation allows for targeted interventions. Additionally, adopting just-in-time inventory management reduces excess stock and associated waste, while enhancing responsiveness to demand fluctuations. Engaging cross-functional teams fosters collaboration and innovation in process optimization. 21. Can you describe the different types of granulation processes used in solid dosage form manufacturing? Granulation processes are essential in solid dosage form manufacturing, 
primarily to enhance the flow and compressibility of powders. The main types include wet granulation, dry granulation, and melt granulation. In wet granulation, a liquid binder is added to form granules, which are then dried. Dry granulation involves compacting the powder into tablets or sheets, followed by milling into granules. Melt granulation uses a binder that melts upon heating to form granules. Each method has unique advantages depending on the properties of the active ingredients and excipients used. 22. What are the key considerations in formulation development for different dosage forms? Formulation development for various dosage forms requires careful consideration of several factors. First, the physiochemical properties of the active pharmaceutical ingredient, API, must be understood, including solubility, stability, and bioavailability. Next, excipient selection is crucial, as they affect the formulation's performance, safety, and manufacturability. The intended route of administration influences the dosage form's design, whether it be oral, topical, or injectable. Regulatory requirements and compatibility with packaging materials also play a significant role. Lastly, scalability and cost-effectiveness are essential for successful commercialization. 23. How do you approach troubleshooting production issues? When troubleshooting production issues, I first gather relevant data, including production records and batch documentation. Next, I conduct a thorough investigation to identify potential root causes, utilizing techniques such as the five whys or fishbone diagram. Collaboration with cross-functional teams is essential, as insights from different departments can highlight overlooked aspects. Once I pinpoint the issue, I implement corrective actions and monitor their effectiveness. Continuous communication with team members ensures everyone remains informed and engaged, promoting a culture of problem-solving and improvement. 24. What is your experience with process analytical technology, PAT, in pharmaceutical manufacturing? Process analytical technology, PAT, has been transformative in enhancing product quality and process efficiency. My experience with PAT involves the implementation of real-time monitoring techniques such as near-infrared spectroscopy, NIR, and Raman spectroscopy during production processes. These tools facilitate immediate feedback on critical quality attributes, allowing for timely adjustments to maintain product consistency. I have collaborated with cross-functional teams to integrate PAT systems into existing workflows, ensuring compliance with regulatory standards and fostering a culture of continuous improvement. 25. How do you stay updated with the latest advancements and regulations in pharmaceutical production? Staying updated with advancements and regulations in pharmaceutical production involves several strategies. Regularly attending industry conferences and workshops enables professionals to connect with peers and learn about emerging technologies. Subscribing to reputable journals and publications helps in gaining insights into recent research and regulatory changes. Joining professional organizations, such as the International Society for Pharmaceutical Engineering, ISPE, provides access to resources and networking opportunities. Engaging in continuous education through online courses or certification programs is essential for maintaining knowledge of best practices and compliance standards in the industry. As we wrap up our exploration of the top 25 pharma production interview questions and answers, we hope you feel more prepared for your upcoming interviews in the pharmaceutical industry. Understanding these key topics can greatly enhance your confidence and performance. Remember, every interview is an opportunity to showcase your expertise and passion for the field. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe for more valuable content. Your support helps us continue to provide resources that empower your career journey. Thank you for watching, and best of luck in your interviews.